Hi, dorks. Hello, this is Unchowder. I am praying to God right now that this audio does not suck. It is not where I want it to be. I can tell you that much. Uh, ugh. I did, I did the classic thing. I said, I'll just fiddle with the settings a little bit before the stream, make things a little better. I, I, no. <laughs> I, I ended up making things, spending an hour making things worse and then trying to revert it, and I don't think I reverted all the way. I think things suck now. So that's cool. Oh, and why is this not, why is my chat pane not working? Can you reload? It'd be cool if chat worked. Oh my god. I don't know how to fix that. I'd have to restart OBS. Really? Okay, fine. We'll just keep... <laughs> we'll just keep Twitch open, I guess. Where am I? Over here? Ugh. Dashboard? Is that what I want? Something? Manager? Yeah, there's chat. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Today's a good day. Today's a happy day. Today's a day full of good things. Good things happening. And nobody complaining about anything because it's perfect. Okay? Okay. We're starting a new fortress. <laughs> Ugh. So yes. Um... In case you are, in case you're starting here, in case you're watching the VOD, and this is where you're picking up, this is going to be Fortress Number Two on on my stream. We have spent the last six months, geez, something like that, something like six months, uh, since the game released, which was early December, I believe. So yeah, uh, we've been working on one fortress. And Doing a lot. Uh, I think it ended up at 40 episodes total, 40 streams, all spent in the Fortress of Elder Ring. And many things happened there. Uh, main thing was like killing a lot of fish people, getting killed by a lot of fish people. There were some goblins and stuff in there too. Lots of forgotten beasts. Um, anyway, that fortress made it to be the capital of our civilization. And then it kind of had a, a bit of a decline. It's not gone yet. It's still there. We've retired it. It still exists in our world. So now the goal is to create a new fortress in the same world, with the, in the same civilization, so that Elder Ring is still there, still the capital. The, the monarch's not there. We ha Queen's died. It's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. But the, the capital is there for us to interact with in, in some minor ways on the on the world map, uh, but we're going to exist in the same world as our uh, as our capital. So, so yeah, that'll be cool. Um, the other thing to note, I guess, is that I have different goals with this fortress. We're going to do we're going to play it a bit differently. Uh, we did the last one with all the defaults. What is this this creature? I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Um, we were playing with all the default settings. We had a cap of 200 people. Um, that's the main thing. Um, we, and we and the the size of the map, I guess, was also the default. We had a four by four, four world tiles is how it's measured, um, and that was fine. I mean, it worked. We we made it work, but I think we can make this fortress run a bit smoother for for stream purposes. Um, I think we can keep our FPS a little bit uh, more consistent, and I think we can keep the some of the, some some weird things come from just having too much stuff, you know, the map being too big, there being too many dwarves, there being too many goblins or fish people and things like that. That can have a real impact on how quickly the game runs. So my goal with this fortress is instead we're gonna have a smaller map size. We're gonna limit our, our our citizens. That's the word. We're gonna limit the number of citizens we have um, 
so that our, our, this fort just won't be as big in many regards. So uh, we'll we'll go ahead and, and get that started, I guess. Um, hopefully, I can keep. How do I do this? There. Now oh, I can see chat. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I need to. Chat, you're in the way. There we go. Okay. Then yeah. Okay. So I've changed a little bit with um the layout here, and of course the cat cam is on again. Come on! Okay, let's let's just do this real quick. <laughs> Whoa. Everything's fine. <laughs> just uh just just fixing things live, every it's fine, don't worry about it. This totally isn't an indicator of how everything works here. My god. I wanted to get like a nice start to the first episode of this fortress and have everything be kind of nice and, and coherent and... Yeah. Hopes and dreams. Oh well. Where am I looking for? Here, and here, and then do that, and then yes, and then there. Okay. Now, if the cat decides to come over here, It'll turn on. See? That works. Anyway, we are going to start a new game in the existing world. There are two forts. Oh yeah, I think our tutorial fortress is technically in this world too. <laughs> we really did not do anything there. Um, but if I say like continue active, I don't know what that would actually do. I don't know. Typically, it wouldn't let you do anything, because we, re we retired that fortress, so if we continue that, then it's, if anything, it's just going to go to a previous save. So, we're going to start a new game. Yeah, okay, yeah, and then that's, okay, yes, we're doing this. We're doing this! Um, so, one thing that you'll notice, so we haven't done anything, right? We just clicked start, and... Uh, a, the game is going to load the world, which is what happens here, and then we're going to go into fortress mode. And now, before we do anything, the game is going to progress the world, um, I think it does it a couple weeks. I guess we'll see. You can see the date kind of crawling along, along there. Um, maybe a month or so. I guess we'll see how far it goes. But, yeah, there we go. So... We retire our fortress, and now a month or so has gone by, like two or three weeks, like whatever that was, has progressed in the world without us doing anything. Um, it kind of goes back into like the, the world generation state, kind of reverts to world generation and progresses more. And then now we will re-embark into this world now that it's been without us for a little bit, a couple weeks. Um, we're gonna skip the tutorial because I've done it. Go back and check episode one if you want to see the see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, that's uh, here we are. This is our world. Um, our fortress was over here. Hopefully, it didn't just immediately collapse. Um, because it should. Because these are all goblins. These are our goblins. We were just down here, right? Let's see. It's very possible that the goblins just immediately <laughs> took our took our fortress or something. Here. Yeah, here we go. Dwarven Fortress Elder Ring. Uh Yeah, okay. And this is still a Dwarven Fortress. Okay. Perfect. So yeah. Here's, here's our previous fortress, right down right down here in this corner. We spent most of our time dealing with all these goblin pits, all these little dark circle type things, or sites where goblins exist. The rest of our civilization is over here, uh, like these uh, trade spins and fortress clinches. All these sites are other dwarven sites within our civilization. They were mostly over here. We kind of went over here. And then there's like a big elven forest in the middle here. Um, all, all that to say, I 
kind of want to embark into a similar area. I kind of want to stay up in this northern continent area because um, that will keep us connected with our civilization. If we went down here, like we could, here's Goblin Island, holy cow. We won't be going there. Uh, but if we went to like one of these islands, we wouldn't be connected with our with our friends. Um, they wouldn't be able to come and, and trade with us. Their and their citizens wouldn't be able to come and visit our fortress. Um, so you know, sometimes you want to do that. Sometimes you don't. In this case, we're just gonna ignore this whole southern part of the world. But it's all it's all here. Um, you can see all these layers. Layer, yeah, layers. Interesting. Um. Yeah, okay. Now, a couple buttons down here. We want to choose origin. We are the dipped ceiling. That's what we want to be. The dipped ceiling is the, the civilization that our previous fortress was in. Um, population 2738 sites. That's pretty cool. Um, but you can see there's three other dwarven civilizations in the world. Um, Corridors of Oil are down here. That's cool. And then we have the Unbridled Artifact. They have a whole 270 people across these seven sites down here. Cool. Um, oh, and then the Crypt of Combining. 1,700 dwarves on 20 sites. They are to our, our capitals north up here. Well, so that's kind of cool. Um, we're going to be... We're going to do that. And then, and that stays, right? Yeah. Um, now we have two different lo uh, options down here, and I I think we're gonna find an embark location. We should we should reclaim something sometime though. Maybe that'll be maybe that'll be our next endeavor. Um, but you can see like all of these. I mean, oh geez. So okay, that's all of them. I would expect there to be a lot more. Oh, but we can unretire that. Yes, so. Oh, and this must be our... That must be our um, our tutorial fortress down there. Okay. Um, so you can see there are four ruins that the game is presenting to us. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of up by where I was thinking of going. Anyway, these are all... All three of these are right next to each other. But these are our locations that were generated in World Gen before we started playing the game at all. Um, the NPC civilizations will create sites and then they'll fight each other and sometimes those sites will fall, but those sites will still be there. So that's what these ruins are. These are th fortresses that were created by other civilizations. I don't know if these necessarily all of our civilization. I don't even know. Like, what is this? What does it say? It says Dwarven Fortress. Interesting. Um, but it exists in the map. Like, there's a fortress there. We can go visit it. And what the Reclaim feature does is we can embark to an existing abandoned fortress, basically. Um, all of its... And it'll have walls, it'll have rooms, it'll be a bunch of stuff there. It'll be in a uh, in a layout that won't make sense to a human because it was made by the world generator, but that's also fine. Um, we'll have to do that at some point. I don't know if that's what we're going to do right now, but that's an option. And then our two retired fortresses, we can go back and reclaim, unretire them, basically. Um, but... I don't think that's what we're going to do right this moment, I think. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to crank our our embark size down to one. We were doing a four by four last time. We're going to do a one by one. Um, savagery and spirit. That's an interesting way to say it, I guess. Um, I'm going to leave a lot of these alone. I'm going to try not to embark into an evil zone this time. We'll see how that works. Um, the main thing we care about is we do want flux. I would prefer not to have an aquifer. We'll see if we can manage that. We do want a river. Um, like iron we definitely want. 
Sand and clay is nice. Not necessary. Um, gold, silver, copper, platinum, lead, bismuth. So there's all we that's interesting that we can choose <laughs> that granularly, but um let's try that. This is probably gonna give us a bunch of results. Hopefully, and then we can be picky amongst them. Of course, this is all nicely color coded, and I can't tell what's what it's trying to do. Um, but it's 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 finding spots that fit those criteria. So yeah, you can see there's not not even a ton. This is right down where we embarked last time. But there's some stuff up here, um, like here. This is, what is this? This is a layer. This is just a forest, little soil. Hmm. I don't want to go too far north. We go up to like the ice cappy area, you start running into like... Everything freezes and gets weird. Um, click the map to zoom. We can zoom? Oh, that's right. So. We, Yes, we can zoom. Um, I kind of I want vegetation. I want to do I want I want greenery. We had a very dead fort last time. Um, can I? Do hello. Oh, a raid. Oh goodness. Um, how's how's it going, JM? Uh, I I apologize in advance for any audio weirdness that you're that you're picking up right now. I tried fiddling with things and may have broke things, so let me know if it's awful. Uh, but hello, we're we're picking a new spot for our new fortress. Hooray! Um, yeah, so let's let's do this. I want to find I think it keeps all of the previous settings. Yeah, so let's try something more savage. Oh, it was New Fort Day. Perfect. Yeah, excellent. It is New Fort Day. A very exciting day. Hopefully we don't just die immediately. Um, so we're just... Uh, the main thing for this fortress is it's going to be smaller. <laughs> so we're going to have a smaller map size and we're going to limit the number of dwarves that we can have. And everything's just going to be kind of a miniaturized version. Um, the last fort did not die. It is still here. You can you can even see it. It's uh, oop, right? Yeah, Elder Ring. It's right there. Um, it did not die. It got real, real, real close. <laughs> we found another demon. Um, spoilers, I guess. But we uncovered a web-spitting demon made of rock, and it killed most of our poor little fortress um we eventually locked it and <laughs> we we locked it into the pen and it killed all the animals but then we dug a tunnel up to the surface to let it fight some goblins and they kind of took care of each other and i decided to call it there um that, that poor fortress uh li little too much little too much trauma going on there uh these days uh, so we're gonna it's it's retired. It's still here. It is still the capital But we're gonna find a new place to have some new adventures and Kind of and be in the same neighborhood is kind of my goal um, There's some kind of like there's all this ring of mountains here. That's kind of interesting separating us from from all these goblins down here um there are quite a few goblins here. I would love something that was like thick vegetation, heavily forested. That's nice. Like there's yeah, there's this little little forest here. Uh, what if we click in? We can zoom in. This is cool. And then you can also see all these little squares. These are the actual world tiles themselves, right? Pretty sure. Um, so our our last fort was on a four by four. So like. 16 of these little little green squares. We're just gonna do a single tile this time um, So yeah here this is a cold heavily forested Thickly vegetated untamed wild. It has a brook on it It has iron and gold and silver and copper and nickel and zinc 
and platinum and tin and lead and flux. That's like, I mean, that's everything, right? Iron and flux are like the main things that we really want to look for because that's steel. Uh, you need flux to make steel. Um, but between copper, silver, platinum, iron, and flux, that's, that's quite good. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that we have human neighbors here. We don't have elf neighbors, which, depending on who you ask, might be a benefit. Um, oh, but like here, like, the elves are neighbors with down here, but not up here. So they're like real close. Um, but I'm okay with not having, not having elves. Um, the dwarves will continue to come and trade with us almost no matter what, I believe. They don't need to be our neighbor, um, but we should be close enough for them to show up. And obviously we are close enough for the goblins to be harassing us here, which is fine. Um, and what is, this is all, this is a marsh. This is a taiga. Interesting. Temperate freshwater marsh. Marsh. This is all mountain, and then, and what's this? This is a freshwater swamp. Interesting. So we could go, oh, there's sand here and soil. Do we have, we don't have sand here and here. Okay, so question number one, taiga or swamp? Yeah, because uh, both of these are fine. This also has iron, gold, silver. Flux, Platinum, cool. Both of these are pretty cool spots, I think. What, so, I don't know. Does anyone have any votes? We could go to a Taiga. We could go to a Swamp. Both those would be perfectly valid options as far as I'm concerned. This one's cold. This one's freezing. The Swamp gets... Swamp freezes, so that's interesting. Um, I wonder... Things that are freezing as a biome, they might not thaw ever. So that might not have fresh water at all on the surface. We, we could dig out, dig down into the caves and find fresh water, I'm sure. Um, but like this one, I'm this one probably. Can I? This one probably thaws and freezes uh, with the with the seasons and stuff. Um, how do I? Right click to zoom out to recenter. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can also look at the elevation, so you can see this is a very flat area, <laughs> which isn't too surprising. There's also this cliff thing. Cliffs are really cool. Um, yeah, this is like, it's all very flat. But if you, as soon as you come up into these mountains up here, you get all these really interesting cliff features. So, of course, the... The places that have the things we want and the places that have cliffs are mutually exclusive, apparently. Look at all these mountains. Um, or like way the heck up here. That's all flat too. And then like here, this is just a big... Well, what's all this? A little ice mountain. That's interesting. Huh. Interesting. Um, or like way over here, that's all flat too. Yeah. Or like here, what's this? There's almost cliffs. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and we, we search for places without aquifer, so that's probably what's limiting us quite a bit here. But I'm okay. I'm okay with skipping the aquifer this time. That was a whole hassle. I'm gonna do... Is that... How do I... That... Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I want to go here. Doesn't really show that I've licked anything. I want... Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. Nope. Um, I want to do... Smaller. Nope. Smaller. And smaller. There we go. We're just going to embark right there. You have selected the smallest possible area. I know, thank you. It might be difficult to find resources. You have selected a savage area. The wildlife might be dangerous here. Cool. Sounds good to me. Confirm. 
Um, I think we're just going to start with all the default stuff. Um, however, I think we can... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. These are the settings I was looking for. You, I don't think you can fiddle with these things like you used to. There used to be a, like a, a document in the the game files where you could fiddle with a bunch of these things, but I didn't I didn't see it. Um, the main thing that I care about here, we're gonna leave we're gonna leave everything on. Curious wilderness creatures can come and try cause trouble. Sure, whatever. Um, there's all these population triggers. We're gonna leave those the same. Um, but basically, there's there's things that'll happen in game that are triggered based on the population of your fortress, and they won't happen until then. So um, things like enemy population, en enemy production trigger. Yeah, yeah, uh, whatever. Um, basically, because we're gonna limit the size of our fortress, then all of the super big, scary in-game stuff won't won't happen. Uh, we're basically just gonna have mid-game stuff because we're gonna have a mid-game sized fortress. Um, so the uh, other thing that I want to adjust to uh, accommodate for that is the invasion cap. Um, regulars attack one, monsters attack one. So yeah. Um, let's see, I don't even know. Yeah, okay, cavern dwellers. Increase per attack. Cavern Dweller maximum attackers. See, like this. <laughs> that needs to go maybe down a little bit. Maybe let's do like 25. Um, increase per attack. Let's do 5. I don't actually know what that does. Siege frequency, otherwise raid. Hmm. I can probably stay where it is. Uh, minimum raids, maximum raids. So as you can see, you can fiddle with a lot of this stuff. Um... Invasion cap to invasion cap regulars pack three plus. So this this one will probably we'll bring this down a bit. <laughs> um, cut some of these in half basically. We'll do we'll do that. That should be fine. Um, there's some other things in here that I won't call immediate attention to. And yeah, and all these economy triggers, landholder population, yeah, you can Jeez. Demand period, mandate period. Yeah, you can fiddle with all sorts of stuff in here. Um I think we're gonna call that good. And see what happens. Look at all our snow. New fortress time. Um also in the meantime, since I since the last episode, this game has updated. It's a pretty minor update, all told. It was not a major feature release, but they've added some sprites. Um, and I want to take a look at them. They added sprites for all the little critters. Um, so like baby animals have, have individual sprites now. Um, so that's cool. A dwarven outpost, you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes, into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Beckerings. Is that the name of our civilization? The Dwarven name? That's, I don't think I've actually seen that word before. Um, there are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook. Provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. It is now mid-spring. Um, but it is spring now, yeah. Uh, enough time to delve secure lodgings ere, yet, ere the yetis get hungry. Oh goodness. We probably will find some yetis here. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Face Earths. Face Earths. <laughs> uh, and that's our randomly generated name for our, for our fortress. And they're all gonna be going real fast here. And look, this is how big our stuff is. We have a tiny, tiny, tiny place, uh, but we can dig straight down and everything will be fine. Um, you can see our map up here. So we don't think, we can, we can see the whole dang thing in one go. 
<laughs> That's amazing. Um, our river is frozen, but you can see from the map here that we have a river kind of coming like this. Excellent. Yes, more forts. More forts. Um, we'll see who dies first. Um, so yeah, we have a frozen river here and we have some frozen ponds. One thing that we uh, do want to make sure of is that our wagon is not currently sitting on frozen water. <laughs> That's a thing. Um, or else your wagon just kind of goes bloop when the spring thaw hits. And that's not great. Um, but you can see this is all snow. Here, this is ice. Yeah, okay, so our, our little pond is here. Um, yeah, so we should be fine. Oh, you can even see a little, there's a little, um, there's a little orange, red, whatever color it is, our, our wagon shows up here in the middle of the, the mini-map. So we're, we're just off to the side of the, the frozen stuff. Anyway, um, look at all these trees. We have larch, we have pine, we have bayberry, we have iwood. I'm hoping for some like fruit stuff. Bayberries? We have a lot of bayberries. Pine, pine, highwood, pine, pine bayberry, highwood. Pine, lots of pines. I don't think larch gives food. I don't think. Oh, it's all bayberries. Okay. We're gonna be making some bayberry pie, apparently. That's cool. Um, oops. But. Lots of larch and pine, and larch, pine, and bayberry. Oh, and highwood. Like all that's here. Oh, and where are you? A giant stoat. Hello, giant stoat. Um, and this is this is what we're gonna get for embarking into savage wilds. Um, we're gonna have a lot of wild creatures, and a lot of them are gonna be very large compared to their normal counterparts. But that's fine. We're gonna deal with it. That's gonna be the thing that we deal with in this fortress. Aside from the things that we can't predict. Which will be many. Anyway, um, the first thing that we need to do is dig and get ourselves underground. Um, I've been thinking about what I want to make this fortress look like. Obviously we don't have a whole lot of random space here, um, but I'm gonna start... where's our, where's our river? Here we can see snow-covered brook goes up to here. So we're gonna start kind of near our um near our brook near our brook, a little river. I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do a ramp instead of stairs. I'm gonna do a ramp. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do I'm gonna do minimal stairs on this fortress. I'm gonna try to do as many ramps as possible and try to design a a rampy fortress. Um, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to go down a couple levels immediately, just so that we're not sitting on the surface. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and dig that real quick. That should happen pretty quickly here. And we'll get a sense for what's going on. We have some silt. Um, hopefully we'll find some stone sooner rather than later. Um, which looks like, wow, okay. Oh, and Kalanite. We fell in love with Kalanite in the last fortress. Cool. And Microcline? Perfect. So we probably don't have a whole lot of soil here. Which is a blessing and a curse. Um, but I mean, we ended up just farming straight up in the, the caves last time anyway, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say a couple, just a couple levels down. And we're gonna dig just kind of a th thoroughfare. I'm making this three wide to accommodate for um, trading caravans in the future. Obviously, that's not a concern right this moment. Recommended settings? Um, not really. <laughs> the defaults are fine. I mean, the last fortress, we were playing on the defaults for, for that whole thing, and it's fine. Um, I'm typically using the defaults for a lot of things. This is this is going to be going to be one of my first foray, forays 
into um, fiddling with all those those the, the caps and whatnot. Oh, and speaking of, um, we made all of those setting changes to the difficulty, things for enemies, but we didn't actually limit our civilization. And that's done in the normal game settings, right? Population cap 200. I'm going to change this to 50. We're going to go all the way down to 50. Um, and then this can be 60. And then baby plus child cap. We're, we don't want 100 babies. Um, percentage of total. Yeah, that's fine. So now we're going to have 50-ish max dwarves. 60 if you count their babies. And that can, it can fluctuate like just a bit over depending on how many people migrate in at once. Like if you're at 45 and get a migration wave, the migration wave might put you over the cap. Um, but then once you're over the cap, you will stop getting migration waves basically. So, yes, small fort. Um, but yeah, uh, first task is just getting, getting inside and getting our junk inside. And we're just going to do this. We're going to make a couple of passageways. Um, and we're just going to make a big... Well, not too big. <laughs> I do want to be conservative on space in, in a lot of regards. Uh, but we're just going to do something like this. And this will give us some space to... Uh, unload our wagon is really it's really our first task or something like that and then while that's being dug um, oh look that stoat's going wild that was the other thing I want to do um, let's go back, back into the settings I'm going to turn the frame rate cap down because Let's see, do, 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 it's in here somewhere. Games for second cap, yes. And I'll also bring that down to 50 because the game runs as fast as it can up to a cap. Um, so now that we have a very small, a, a pretty small fortress here, or at least that's the intent. Um, in theory, we are able to hit the cap more frequently. Um, but 100 frames a second is, like, blisteringly fast. You just saw all those stoats running around like that. That's a bit fast for streaming, I think. Um, so I'm going to bring the cap down to 50, and then we're going to have a small fort that is... Did all these get chopped already? Oh, we should check our DF hack stuff. I think DF hack is telling people to chop trees already. Um, we're going to lower our cap, but work to keep as up to the cap as possible. So hopefully we'll stay right around nice 50 frames for like the whole fortress. That's kind of my, my goal here. Um, but here, I think, no, not you. Do -ba do control panel. Um, I'm going to turn everything off for a moment because it's gonna it's gonna do stuff and we'll just we'll turn stuff back on as we as we need it I think that's that's fine um, I don't want to cut down all these trees some of these trees I want to keep even uh, let's see here we go and uh, let's see pine pine highwood larch let's just cut those. That's probably enough for for the start. Um, but yeah, um, I'm I'm happy that we have all these bayberries, or a handful of bayberries. Yeah. There's also like longland grass, larch sapling, um, rope reed. Cool. Not a whole lot of vegetation on the ground quite yet, but it is, there's still snow on the ground. Um, so we're probably going to see a whole bunch of stuff growing as we play, which is a thing that we didn't have last time. We Our whole map was completely dead 
in Elder Ring. Um, so yeah, uh, some of this is going to play out a bit differently. Let's see. Yep, digging. And this is already, look, Limonite and Jet and Rock Salt. Very cool. We only have one miner, apparently, so uh, she, she is going to be at this for a little while. Uh, okay. Uh, we probably only have, like, one pick. Let's see. I think it's a weapon? Two battle axes, two hammers, short swords, maces, picks. We have three picks. Perfect. I'm going to tell some more people that they are allowed to dig. There. So that'll, that'll help. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so they'll dig that out. We chopped a little bit of wood. We probably want a little bit more. Um, I'm just being careful not to chop the the producer trees, the things that have fruits and stuff. Because let's see, where's there's a bear bait bayberry. I don't want to cut down everything either. Um, the stuff will continue to grow as we go. Um, oh, the dog is chasing the stoat. Overcome by terror. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, we we could have a hunter. We have we have a crossbow. Here's the question. Um, picks, spears, short swords, war hammers. We don't have any crossbows. Interesting. Um. However, I think I can just come into here and say Hunter. Um, Fisher Dwarf will also turn into a Hunter, because there's nothing to fish right now, because the brook is frozen over. Um, but if the if that Hunter can find a weapon, then it will just start hunting these, these giant stoats. And that'll be cool. I can't remember if they need a ranged weapon to do that, or if... Uh, or if they can figure that out with a melee weapon. They definitely prefer to do it with a, a like a crossbow. Anyway, let's. Oh, the other thing. So yeah, uh, zones. Okay, thanks. We are going to create a gather fruit zone. I'm tempted to make it this whole freaking map. Um, we can do a good chunk of it. Let's do like something like this. Except, um, so that's just a big zone. I would like them to gather fruit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's three settings here. This is stuff we didn't get to do in the last port because we didn't have fruit on the ground. Um, but you make a, a gather fruit zone, and you can gather fruit from trees. It requires a step ladder, which we can make out of wood. They can gather fruit from the shrubs and the stuff on the ground. And they can gather the fallen fruit, so like fruit that was on a tree and then fell down to the ground. They can pick that up off of the ground, and that's a separate toggle from going up, east, uh, going up a step ladder to to get like pick fruit from the tree. I'm gonna leave all of those on, and and then that will be fine. And then whoever has a plant gather. And so we have it set so everyone can gather plants. So now they will just run around and... Like, what are you doing? Gathering plants. Hauling ratweed. So yeah, perfect. Of course, they're doing it as opposed to mining. Dorks. Priorities. Um, so let's do... Let's do only selected and we'll say... Everyone but the miners can do this. So now in theory, yeah, we'll come back down and keep digging. So, good. The other thing we can do to try and get some functional rooms out of this sooner rather than later, we can say, like, this room is priority one, 
This room is priority two. This is three. And that's four. And I'll make one room at a time, basically. Um, and yeah. Even curious if anyone wanting to hunt. I guess we can. It's a lot easier to see what all of our dwarves are doing when there's only seven of them. <laughs> we got three people digging and four people gathering plants. That's that's what you should be doing on day one. Hamster remains. Okay. There's baby llamas, billy goats. Is that look at the baby llama and a baby turkey? What are you? Yeah, straight pult. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah. So let's come back down here. Yeah. Okay, so we got a room. So we're gonna make a stockpile. This is gonna be a everything stockpile, just to get everything out off the wagon, basically. Um, one thing that came up previously is... So in, in previous versions of the game, this changed like two days ago. Um, or no, I want to do all, all. There we go. That's the change. Um, used to be you make an all stockpile and it includes refuse and corpses and refuse stockpiles work or used to work differently or maybe they still do anyway a refuse stockpile will actively degrade the stuff that's in it kind of on purpose um but if you make a stockpile that could hold stuff and refuse it would degrade the stuff that you cared about but they changed that like two days ago. So now this this everything stockpile automatically said it's everything except refuse. But also I believe refuse stockpiles don't degrade things like they used to. Um, at least as far as like the things you care about in, in, in mixed stockpiles. So that, that literally just changed. Um, okay, so then let's start with some workshops we want. Uh, do, do we care about a carpenter? And we care about a boyer since we want to have a, a, a crossbow. And then we also care about um, a stone worker. Stone worker. And a mechanic. That'll all be good. Um, I'm actually going to say this one does not take wood. Everything but wood. No. And then we'll make like a, a separate wood stockpile because that'll be that'll be a big one, big comparatively at least. There you can see big and building our stuff. Um, yeah, perfect. Okay, so now we're going to do a new stockpile here. This is going to be wood. There. I'll, I'll bring our wood back over. And that stoat's still just running around. The dog. <laughs> the dog and the stoat. I mean, they're in combat. Oh, jeez, dog. Stray dog scratches the giant stoat in the right front paw. Okay. Also, our animals just kind of <laughs> wandering around everywhere. Cool. Uh, yeah. So now, please keep digging. Um, here, Boyer, please make for me a wooden crossbow. Do like do like three wooden crossbows and then we also want some mechanisms
and I'm just I'm doing this straight through the workshop interfaces for the moment because um, we don't have I've not yet signed a manager. Um, I think we have to get our manager set up with like their their um, their office and stuff before they'll actually start doing stuff. So we don't have our management interface quite yet. That'll be soon though. Um, so we we want some beds. And we want some barrels. We're gonna start. We want to start making food real quick here. Uh, food and drink. Where? Barrel. And look, you're already working on it. Perfect. Okay. And then stone worker, you are gonna start working on doors. Is that what I want? I mean, we always want doors. Okay. They're figuring it out. Um, this still has a whole, whole bunch of stuff in it. Uh, okay. Um, the other thing we want to do early on um, is just have a way to seal this off. Because who knows what's going to show up. Of course, I can't build it retracted. Hmm. You have to you have to build it and then hook it up and then hold it. So we're gonna we're gonna end up locking someone outside in the process. Is that how that works? Um, the other thing we can do we can just come down here. How about this? Um, we'll do a gate that opens this way, right? And we'll just do it like this. And got a jet. Why not? Jet's cool. Um. Yeah. Okay. So we're 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 going. Um. Let's go ahead and. I wish I want them to keep digging. It is a priority still. Um, okay, and then we'll we'll put some beds over here because they'll they'll want a place to sleep pretty quickly. And then we'll need to make some crates to fit things in, or bins, sorry. Um, add bin, and bin, and a bin, and a bin. You can see all those beds are just sitting here in the workshop until they get moved. Um, okay, but now we have a crossbow. And somebody is fighting. Oh, look! Thawed! Perfect. Oh, and you, it's okay, so all the snow is gone, but our our little ponds here are still frozen. Um, yeah, our, our brook is still frozen here. In previous, well, I don't know. Usually you can see, I'm, so, like, I'm kind of surprised we can't see the, the brook itself here. We really did get right up against it, didn't we? Oh well. It's, we're gonna be we're gonna be a little tight in here, and that's that's okay. Um, but I'm curious if anyone hunting. Not currently. Um, we have a giant peregrine falcon flying around up here. That's cool. And it's gone. Yeah, okay, so now this is linked, or no, not linked, built. Getting way ahead of myself. We're gonna make a lever. Or is I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it here. Um it's gonna be that. And then I'm gonna place our beds. Bed. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> I turned off 
turned off things. Show planner. Oh, I see. That's... Uh, 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 that's cool. That's new. Um, just, just use closest. There we go. Five, and then... Yeah. Five bits. Close enough. And then we can link this to that. Perfect. Now, we probably need to make this bigger already. That's fine. A bin did get in there. Um, and I don't want to... I don't want to make a whole... I don't want to duplicate our fortress like we did last time. I kind of want to get started on our, our permanent fortress quicker this time. Um... I mean, partly because we're going to run out of space if we make too much stuff, but... But yeah... Uh, what else do we need? So we got our doors. Door, door. Door, door, door. Hey, doors. Um, and this is linked, so now we're like... We're secure. We're fine. Um, th th we could have a hundred goblins show up and we can close the door and we'll be fine. Uh, except for the stuff that's still on the surface. We just need to get... <laughs> we need to move all this stuff inside still. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, stray rooster. Now. One question is... How does... Where's our, where's our center? I kind of want to make, I guess our, our wagons are our center. That makes sense. Right about here. I have a couple thoughts in my brain about what I want to make this fortress look like. Um, but I don't have any, like, blueprints or plans or anything more, more specific than some kind of themes, I guess. Um... I don't want to spend too much time fiddling with with digging designations. I'll do I'll try to do a lot of that off stream, between streams. Um, but obviously, I can't do that right this moment. So I think uh, what do I think? I think a lot of things. Um, let's go ahead and I'm actually going to make a little bit more room for. Um, I want to get at least a, a still and a kitchen going so we can make booze um like the hey they're already sleeping yeah go take a nap go take a nap it's fine perfect um yeah so the main thing that i'm thinking of right this second yeah look at some swords, got some buckets and some thread, but everything else is, is down there. Great. Great. So, brain images. Central staircase, except it's not a staircase, it's a, a like a spiral ramp. I want to I want to integrate a central transit ramp, vertical vertical passageway kind of a deal, you know? I want it to spin around, uh, and I want it to incorporate a waterfall. And I want to not rely on the flow of our brook, because it's going to freeze in the winter, so I don't want this waterfall to turn off in winter, so it's going to be a closed loop system. We're going to have like a little reservoir, and we'll pump from the bottom to the top, and then just let it flow down. But that's kind of my thought is I want, a, I want a spiral staircase with with some waterfall bits so that every time someone is going up and down a different level, they're looking at waterfalls, keep everything nice and, and kind of centralized, I guess. Um, so obviously that's a kind of a, a, a project to complete, but you mostly just want to dig currently with that in mind. Uh, is really what it comes down to. Um, 
So yeah, I'm thinking... If I do it around here somewhere... Uh, but I... So in, in my mind, I was kind of thinking we could either do waterfall around the outside or waterfall on the inside, you know? You could have middle pillar kind of have waterfalls drifting down it, or you can have like the outside edge of the spiral have some waterfalls. And I've been thinking about it, and I think what makes sense to me, let's make a still and a, uh, a kitchen with meals. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna tell our I'm gonna tell this to just make uh blocks. Just just, just turn all our turn all our stones to blocks. Except not Kalanite. I don't we don't wanna do that with Kalanite, right? We already this is all rock salt. Yeah, just yeah, okay, cool. Just just make <laughs> make things. Um, okay. And then we don't have things to brew yet. Well, that's that's cool. Let's see what we have. Labor kitchen. Okay. Dump helmets. Thirty question mark. Good. <laughs> um, okay, so there's like potato plants. Those are. A lot of these are things that we we've picked up off the ground already, um, like barley, fisherberries. Um, are we? Is there just straight up barley on the surface? That's kind of kind of great. Uh, colony of termites, saplings. Yeah, look. Oh, and everything's thawed now. Are you? You're fishing. Perfect. Okay. So now everything's gonna come back to life. Look, bayberry sapling. It's already early summer. This we're gonna be cooking right along here. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, mostly want to make sure we're not cooking everything that we're grabbing off the ground, and some of it's reserved for brewing. But the if we're finding, it all just melted. Um, the the weather got warmer, and all the the snow melted, and. Um, and then a little while later, the um, yeah, now we can see all of our water, um, that our our river and our lake, our lake, our little pond has has thought itself. That's just a thing that happens. Um, longland grass, whip vines, potato plant. We can just straight up grab potatoes off the ground. That's really cool. Um, but in Theory, there's ooh, lentils. Nice, 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 nice. Um, okay. Oh, and our so now our wagon's empty. So we're gonna remove our wagon. You can see all of our animals are hanging out on the surface here, and that's mostly because the wagon is set as your default meeting area when you first embark. So in order to get everyone inside, I'm just gonna turn our bedroom into a meeting area, just a generic, generic meeting area. Now when people hang out, they're going to hang out down here. Yeah, here they go. This is the happening spot. It's underground and everything. And what are you doing? You're making blocks. Perfect. So, um, here we go. Brew drink from plant. Just do that. And then you are going to prepare lavish meals until you can't. Um, so yes, I want a central spiral rampy situation. I don't want the circuit around it to be too long because then that'll add a lot of transit time for you know a dwarf going from one level to another as opposed to a stairwell. Um, so I'm going to keep the central, the central pillar of our spiral as small as possible, and then have the waterfall coming around the outside. I think that's the smart way to do this. 
So what that will look like is we're going to have, um, I mean, it can even be something like this, but we'll make it a three by three for the middle bit. And then, of course, even I want to like offset. Um, but I, most of our passages, I'm going to make just two, two width. First, I want, I'm trying to think of where I want the trading depot to be at the end of the day, but we'll figure that out. I might just end up like right here. Um, but if we do like a little thing like this, and then we have, like it's, here's, here's what I'm thinking. Here's, I just need to get the, the thing out of my brain and onto paper somewhere. Um, so then, yeah. So really I want, I want to scoot it over by one. So we'll do, we'll do like this. And then this will this will make sense in a second. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> um, we're just gonna we're gonna go down one here, and then here will be our actual walkway. And of course, there's the top of our map there. You want to be further down, mm. or maybe. Eh, eh. Hmm. Maybe we do it like this. We can do two channels there. And then we'll have our walkway going up like this. Right? And then oh, you can go away. <laughs> and then we have our little central bit. And then we're just gonna go like this. This one I'm doing. So come down. This is this is like I'm planning out multiple levels here for for brain purposes. Um, we're just gonna do like this, and then that. I'm gonna. This is just a marker, basically. We won't be actually mining that out. Look, could it even. Could, we could make it even smaller. We could do just a single. Here, we're going for compactness, right? So then. Like this. That means. Yeah, okay. Versus. That, and then like that, and then come down here. So that's that's that, and right, and then continue that here. And this is yes, yes. You are witnessing the, the brainstorming <laughs> process, <laughs> which I may not be interesting, but what we're doing. We're so then this one comes down, and then that's our walkway, and then that. Useful? Good. Okay. Um But here's so here's here's my thinking. Yeah, okay. We'll get one more in here just to kinda complete the loop and we'll see kinda see what I'm going for here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here's this level. We have a little ramp that'll go down and then like imagine going down a ramp and then there's a long corridor in front of you and then the ramp continues going down 
uh, your left, I guess, clockwise. And you go down, and then there's another long, long corridor this way, and then another ramp down, and then a long corridor, another ramp down, another long corridor, another ramp down. And it just keeps pinwheeling around the center like that. That's my thought. That's kind of that's what I want to do here. Um, so then on each level, now I have like this is my this is my main corridor for for this level. Um, we can't continue this way. This is where our upper ramp is coming from. But I could do like this, and then I could have more more things coming down like this. And then we could basically have like everything coming from this side. And then like, you know, we won't, we, 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 as small as our map is, we probably won't be using all of it. And depending on where our caves end up, we'll see how squished we get. But like we could have things over here on this level and things over here on this level and things down here on this level. And I think that works out fine. Now. The other thing I'm trying to think of so I want to do this for our central movement stuff uh, but also how how are the waterfalls going to link into here so probably what's going to happen is we'll have a um, a layer uh, or a, a one tile thickness of bars, probably. And then the water will be flowing behind it so that we don't have too many accidents. Um, and we're, we're going to put grates on, on the floors here, so we'll have kind of a drain system. Um, so it's kind of another reason why this pinwheel is nice, because the area beneath each of these walkways will be relatively clear, because the next level of walkway is like over there instead of directly beneath. Um, so we'll have bars, water, drain, and then on each of these levels we just want water to come in from above and drop and kind of splash a little bit and then continue down. And I think this will be fine to accomplish that. I'm trying to, <laughs> um, trying to make sure that we will have the ability to do that without planning too too much right now. Um, the main thing that we need to keep in mind is that the areas immediately adjacent to the outside edge here, we want to keep this kind of clear for the moment so we can leave room for tucking in some some waterworks um, but like over here this is all fine um, the area immediately beneath the next or the, the previous level right so this on this level we don't want to mine here because this will be for for draining here but even then we're probably only gonna have waterfall in like this area not like all the way over here but like this little square like these these four and then like these four and these four up to our, our ramp situation we want to keep that kind of central area clear a little bit so that we can so we can make that work later but uh at the end of the day that is what we're gonna look like i think so, yeah. And then that leaves and that leaves area up here for like they can walk around this and they'll we can make more stuff up here and that'll be fine. Okay. So, <laughs> now that we know how that's going to work, we can kind of uh start to make our permanent stuff ish. Um so I the first thing I want like early priorities we want to make sure that our um which who's it our manager has a spot so that they can manage um i don't think we care too much about the rest right this moment but we will want spaces for our other people uh sooner rather than later 
Um, we will want some bedrooms. We will want some workshop area and some storage area. And that's that's the main thing. Um, so I think I think of like what what goes where. I don't know. Well, let's just start. Well, let's start placing stuff. Um, I'm gonna let them start working on digging these. Um, someone should be working on stuff. Good. Okay. Um, and of course, I left it all at lower priority, but that, that'll be fine. Um, okay. The other thing that I'm going to try to be good about is leaving two tiles of stuff between stuff so that we can make everything engraved and nice later. So, uh, one thing that we can do to kind of reserve space for ourselves. Um, nope, like this. like here and no eh eh buttons uh, I don't want to convert I just want to change the blueprint only mode come on there we go that's what it was <laughs> um I'm gonna basically put in some blueprints into the spots where I know I'm going to want like grates and stuff. Oh, and that's we'll figure it out. Just so, just to kind of reserve the spots for myself, so I don't accidentally dig into them. Yeah. Okay. And then same thing like this. I'm just gonna leave. I'll leave some space around like clearly this whole area just is gonna get reserved and that'll remind me to not not do stuff right there okay now um okay so then let's do like like a cross hallway type of deal, something like this, and then we can do. Like, do I care about there? No, I'm... I might need to plan out what the waterworks look like off stream, just so I know exactly how much room I need to to reserve. Um, but we can get some quick nobles quarters going. This would be fine. Um, right? And that's like... That's overkill. But... That's fine. <laughs> Things can be overkill. Whatever. Um, we'll just do this. Four by fours. Um, and then we can come down like to here, and then say, see, there's the edge of our map too. We're gonna we're gonna have real fun with the edge of our map here. <laughs> um, and let's do like like that. Yeah, wow, this place is this place is small. Uh, okay. I have a thought for bedrooms. I'm gonna leave bedrooms for maybe off-stream planning. Um, workshops, however, I have no idea what I'm doing. We should do... Like, this should be a stockpile level. Then this should be our, our workshop level. Right? Something like that. Um, maybe something like this. And I also, our, our workshops last time were okay. We can design them differently though. 
Um, one thing a lot of people do, they'll make like individual rooms for each individual workshop. And that seems like overkill to me. But we could do like little little two by twos. So you could, you know, four workshops in a room. Um, and each is is three. One, two, three. Could do something like that. Where's where's our edge here? One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, yeah, what if we spaced ourselves like that? Because this is our edge here, right? That's the, that's the furthest down we can go. And then we're probably fine to do that? Question mark. Um, <laughs> no, we'll, we'll be fine. Everything's fine. Um, I do want to increase the priority on some of this just so it gets done. Um, let's, let's not do that quite yet. Um, but yes, okay, so then if I do the same thing over here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, I wanted to do like this, don't I? I'm being consistent. Maybe we'll we'll start with the outside. We'll work outside in. How about that? Um, you do like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Like that's not that much room. Is that the edge there? Okay. Uh, one, two, three. One, two. We'll just we'll go over by one on everything. There's as little room as that looks like. Of course, it's a funny dog leg, but whatever. I mean, that's... Uh, that's 16 workshops right there. It's on, just on the south side. So that'll... I mean, that's... That sounds, that's enough for us right now, I think. Um, and they, they can compact together a lot more than they used to, because... It used to be that workshops had tiles that were impassable. Like there were certain, like, you know, a, a workshop is a three by three, and some of those tiles you could walk through and some of those tiles you couldn't. Um, but I don't think that's a thing anymore. I think all of the tiles of a workshop are completely passable. So we don't need to worry about, like, walkways between them or anything. Um, we don't even need, we don't even need this. Look at this. We're already... We're already being wasteful. Let's do this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's do it like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. There. 16 workshop right there. That's what that'll be. Um, once they mine all that. Look at this. Okay. Let's go ahead and toss some doors in here. I'm gonna try to be better about uh, the doors as we go. Um, speaking of, let's go ahead and do the lawn. Sure. No, that's not what I wanted. Control panel. That's what I want. We want to turn back on... Which one was it? Um... Doop -doop -doop. I forget I forget everything. Building plan, it's on. So I want door. Go oh, planner. Here we go. There we go. So we're just we're gonna plan for there to be doors there, but we don't have doors quite yet, so that's fine. But we'll just do, let's do bed. Um, 
these are going to be... How was I thinking this was going to work? There's, there's more space back here. Um... Hello, cat. Because we need... Yes, brain and cat. Hey, just... <laughs> this is not the place for you. Um... Like, manager needs bedroom and office, basically, right? Um, let's go ahead and... Actually, let's go ahead and do this. We'll do... Manager is going to be our... Our expedition leader. It is cat time. It is time to stop what you're doing and pay attention to the cat. Um, so... Needs meager study. Eh. Um, so I think... I think we're gonna do it like this. This will be the manager's bedroom, this will be the manager's study. And this will be stuff for more... more people as, as that becomes a thing. Anyway, what are you doing? Gathering plants. Gathering plants. Very cool. Um, we're still... Okay. Um... The other thing we care about, I guess, right, pretty quickly, is a bookkeeper. Our planter is a proficient record keeper, so let's do that. Um, because right now we don't know, like, exactly how much food we have, which is always kind of disconcerting. So, uh, to get better counts on what we have, we need to have a bookkeeper, and we need to set that to the highest precision. And then our bookkeeper is also going to need a study. So we'll just do the same thing here. Dig all that out. Um, and then you're going to need a, a bed as well. Furniture, bed, bed. Um, and then that will be fine. Okay. And here we go. Mel. How's your fortress going? Um, and then, like, here's gonna be stockpiles, and here's gonna be stockpiles, and then here... I think we're gonna want, like, a... Whatchamacallit? Our, our um, dining hall and stuff is gonna be down here. So then we go like that, yeah. Right? Yeah. I struggled, so I stopped for tonight. I'm still finding it hard to learn what to do. Oh, dang. Um, no worries. I mean, feel free to ask questions if you want. Um, the main thing is... First task is getting inside so you don't get eaten by a giant stoat. And getting your your food stuff going. Um, speaking of which, our because we have berries and trees and, and stuff up here, um, we can like a small fortress. We can survive off like foraging for quite a while, I think. But we will want to get farming going. We're also gonna want a pen. Um, yeah. Oh look, a step ladder. I didn't even tell him to make any. They must have brought one. Um, yeah, step ladders. Uh, needs empty food storage items. We probably need more barrels. Um, but we'll we'll put on a repeating order once we have our manager going. Me. Um. But since we have all these 
trees, and we have kind of a small area that we have to defend. Kind of thinking of making a wooden wall. Set filter to wood. Yes. Is that how that works? Some migrants have arrived. That was quick. Oh dear. Um no, there's nowhere for you yet. It's okay. Taking more in through osmosis, that's good. Osmosis is a great learning method. Um I want to make like kind of an enclosed pen area. Um and since What's interesting about brooks, this is a river. I mean, there's water running through it, right? But this top layer functions like rock. Like this is floor, it just has water running underneath it. So we can actually build on top of our brook here. And things wouldn't be able to get like underneath. There's no, there would be no space there uh, as opposed to a normal river. So we could just, Build ourselves a little, a little wall. Go. This might be temporary. Um. I want use filter for remaining items. That. What did you choose for your <laughs> for your material? Did that work? I told it to just use wood. I guess we'll let's see what. Let's see what that does. Um, yeah, settle over there. That's that's your spot over there. One, two. Here's our migrants. Was it just two? We have we have, we have three. So ten people total now. That's fine. Nice, nice easy early uh, migration wave. That stoat is going nuts. Stoat has no chill. <laughs> um, okay. Um, and I'm gonna make a wall for our pasture, but we don't even we don't need to do that really. Um, let's do like I don't know how much space they need. Oh, we can include a little, a little water pond too. Perfect. Um, so that's gonna be a pen slash pasture zone. And then we can assign our grazers to it. So it's me goat, llama, yak, donkey. I think donkeys. Uh, but the rest are fine. Now they'll just they'll chill up here. Be cool if you built the thing. What are you all doing? Sleeping, gathering, preparing. Okay. Sure. I guess I told you to do all that. Um. Okay. You are gathering plants. Okay. Blueberry, bilberries, and bayberries. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're going to have a very berry fort. The, the fortress is going to be oops all berries. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking I'm going to tag one of these as being for booze specifically. Um, I mean, we have barley. I don't know how much barley we're going to find. But like... Bayberries? Clearly we're gonna find some bayberries. So I'm gonna go ahead and say don't cook the bayberries, that'll be reserved for booze. Um, we'll probably adjust that not too long from now. Where's that? Pond's turtle remains. More pond turtles! Perfect. Always with the pond turtles. Now. Uh, you can see all the hamster remains. Oh, we should have a we should have a refuse stockpile so that the hamster remains can be taken out of the <laughs> the fortress basically um we'll just put it like oh. here you are corpses and refuse I'll do both. Oh. 
to do. No, no, no. That button and that button. There we go. Get the get the nasty stuff out. We'll have to build an incinerator at some point, but that will require magma and things. Um, okay. This giant stoat is having fun. Um, we do have a hunter, right? Dabbling Mark's dwarf. How about you two? Go, go shoot a stoat, please. Um, okay. This is linked, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so those got dug. So now let's do door. And these need to be um, studies, so they need a chair, which means we need to make some chairs. Chair, chair. Go ahead and just add a table as well. Actually, do we add a table? I'm not sure we do. We want them to, we want to be very particular about where we put tables so we can actually have people eating in our dining room. That's a goal. <laughs> I'm super tired. Okay, really enjoy seeing founding of a new fortress. Perfect. I mean, yeah, I'll be here. This fort will still be new uh, next week, so definitely check in if, if you want to see how we're doing. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the raid. Um, go 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 to bed. Um, but yeah, have a good night. Thanks for thanks for coming by. Um, oh, look at the pond turtles, the bayberries, and. and Got all these blocks in there. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, oh, chairs. We need to tell this person... You can stop making <laughs> blocks for the moment. Holy cow. <laughs> Make some chairs. Or thrones, rather. They're made of rock. They're called thrones. Oh, that's not what I meant. And we'll start with two. And then... Thanks, yeah. Have a good night. Uh, -ba -ba what was the other thing? Oh, uh, I think... I don't think we have that many stepladders. I think we want maybe a couple of other stepladders. And I think those are tools. Yeah, we have a wheelbarrow and a stepladder. Um, so let's go ahead and do... I guess that's fine. <laughs> that was a misclick. Whatever. Um, make a couple stepladders. Uh, it's good to have some backup stepladders in case someone gets stuck up a tree. And wheelbarrows are just good to have on hand. There we go. Um, and look at all this. They got... They made... Oh man. Wow, they already made a bunch of stuff. Okay, stop stop making food and please brew from plant. Brew from brew from fruit and brew from plant. Okay. So like berries will be fruits and things like barley will be plant. And then meat comes from honey, obviously. Um, we clearly need more storage for our food stuff already. What happened? I'm waiting for construction. Okay. Um, this is where our new workshops are going to go. We're going to try to put some stockpile stuff here, I think. So then... Basically, we're gonna. I guess how far out? Is, that's as far as it goes. I mean, I could just make a big stockpile, right? Just need to leave some of this area alone. I think four should be plenty. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah, let's say. Well, the other thing is, 
I do. I don't want. <laughs> um, I want. I want the stockpile to be mostly directly above the workshops, right? Yeah. Above and below. I mean, I, I really liked how that worked out last time. I mean, we'll just kind of replicate that. Um, and we'll have some... Maybe we'll have a stair here, just for immediately going from... Uh, or even like... How do we do this? Of course, we can't do here. We could do... Do like a stair here on each one. I don't want them to go too far. I don't want the distance from workshop to stockpile to be too far because that's a that's a that's a trip that they make a lot. I want that one to be pretty efficient. Um, so maybe we'll do like an up down stair like this on each one, one like that. is the definition of wing in it, but that's fine. Um, Cause like even just that, that gives us a ton of stockpile room. We're gonna come down a little bit just so we don't encroach, but like that's that's really fine. We'll do that. Just to even things out. Yep. Yeah. Those will be stockpiles. And there will be other other routes to get in and out of these, obviously, but the route from the workshop to the stockpile needs to be pretty pretty efficient, I think. Now as far as dining hall goes, I do want to make sure I want to make it so that the place where they're making food can only be gotten to through the dining hall. How do I make that happen? Ult I mean, the ultimate goal is I want to make sure that there isn't any table, there isn't any, any spot where a dwarf can eat that's closer to the food than the dining hall. That's a goal that I have for this fortress, because that was annoying last time. Um, so I don't think food will be made here. This will be all of the other stocks. Um, obviously this is like way overkill for the moment, but we can do that. And then we could even do like that. And then we'll just dig this for now. Um, but our food stockpiles will go somewhere else. Our food production also. Um, okay, so we can just start building things here. Let's do... Leather will happen, but that doesn't have to be right now. Um, well, I just said we're not doing food here. Workshops... Let's do... We definitely want some stone workers. Probably like at least two. Um, so we'll start with that. That may end up being four. Um, we want a mechanic. We want a lawyer. We still want a lawyer. We want a carpenter. Uh, we want a couple of craft makers. That should be like this whole thing even. Because the craft craft shops get made get used for a lot of stuff. Um, what else? What else? Screw press siege soap? No. Mechanic jeweler. I mean, we will want all this stuff, but this is not priority right now. Um, so I think that'll 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 get us there. I'll get us going. Perfect. Look at all that. We're gonna I'm gonna end up digging this all out very quickly anyway. But let's see. Uh no, we need 
obviously we need more doors and stuff because these are all just still individual things. Let's do door, door, door. Um, and then this is for beds. Bed, 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 bed. And then we turn these into rooms. This is going to be a bedroom. Except, and then this is going to be an office. And then we assign the bedroom to our expedition leader, because that is also our manager. Right? And then there. Now our manager has what he needs. Rigoth is now set to keep track of our stuff. Yeah, our work orders. Okay. So now we can start making work orders. Um, I'm also going to turn this into a bedroom. Except. And this into an office. And these go to our bookkeeper. Perfect. So now, now we're satisfied. Now everyone's cool. Um, aside from the stuff that hasn't been placed there yet, but that's fine. That'll that'll happen. Um, okay. Suspended the construction of the craft dwarf. Why? Why? Okay. I'm also curious. Hey, look! Our wooden wall. Perfect. And our hamster remains. Why are you... Are you supposed to be in the pen? Yeah, please stay in the pen. And dragging it in. Okay, cool. Now... Do they just... Oh, is there like a bird up here? Are they being harassed? No? There's a there's a falcon up there somewhere. Okay. Anyway, we are going to wall. And this is likely going to be a temporary wall, but that's fine. Um, right, this is still just wood. So I'm just gonna make a little yeah, use filter. Something like this. Use filter. And then same thing here. And then we'll leave uh, like a, a three wide gap here for our theoretical caravans to get in. And then that will be a nice, nice little zone. Yeah, okay. And then we can uh, trim this to make sure it all fits inside. And then let's also go ahead and make a bridge over here. I want it to go this way. Yes. This is also going to be wood because that it might also be temporary. So whatever. Um, but if all of you critters could just stay inside the pen, that'd be cool. Cats, roosters, we should make space for our nest boxes. And we should make nest boxes. Um, I actually think now that I'm now that I'm looking, I think we're gonna we're gonna leave a gap there so that our dwarves can get out this way as well. Uh, but we'll just make another just make another bridge as well. And so just go the other way. Blam. And then you're what? You're fishing? Perfect. I'm just goats wandering around. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay. So, now that we have a manager, we can add some management orders. So, I know I want some rock doors.
Um, and I'm going to keep these jobs kind of small for each. I'll just do two at a time. I'm going to check daily if we have less than 10. I think that's I think that's what we're doing. Um, and then same thing for beds. Make two like daily and beds. Um, and then do I care about thrones? I think I think so. Um, same thing, just two at a time. And then we can do tables as well. Not tables. Uh, two. And then uh, like that. Cool. And then we definitely want to be brewing. Um, and so since there's two different brew jobs, these are two different work orders. So there's brew drink from fruit and brew drink from plant. They both turn into brew drink. But since they come from different classes of things, they're going to be two different jobs. Um, so we're going we're gonna to do both of them. Because we got fruit and we got plant, and I want... I want booze. I want fancy booze. Um, these, I think... We can still do ten at a time. Well, let's do like five. Some jobs are more efficient in larger stacks, but I don't know that the work order size dictates the size of the stack that gets used in the job. That's a good question. Anyway, I'm gonna restart daily, and then the trick here is that the the output so. If you don't know how work orders work, uh, quick, this is just, uh, we're saying if there are less than 10 drinks, then make five. Um, but the, the thing that we're checking against for if we continue to make that job, um, by default, it's checking all drinks. It's not checking just specifically drinks from fruit. We could make it do that if we wanted to. Um, but in this case, we don't want to. We we want to have a, a number of drinks, just in general. We don't care if they are all from fruit or if they're all from plant. We just want to have drink, because that's the most important thing. Um, so we're just going to set this number to be... Well, not, that's not what I meant. Um, drinks available at least 200. Um, No, at, at most. There we go. Yes. Um, but also, if we have unrotten fermentable leaves and fruit, I'm needing five of those because it's a five, five job. And then same thing here. Uh, check daily. Number less than 200. And then fermental plants greater than five. So now between the two of them, they will attempt to keep our drink stocks up to 200 from some combination of fruit and plant. But each individual one of those jobs for activating is checking if they have enough fruit for the fruit job and enough plant for the plant job. So, yeah. Um, I also want to just start lavish, start making lavish meals. Um, this will also be five. And this is gonna be check daily. Unrotten prepared meals. So we want to have like, let's say 200, 200 unrotten prepared meals is, that, is what we want to keep. Um, and then these others, unrotten cookable items. I'm actually gonna not. Mm, I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna put a uh, that condition on there. We're gonna get a, get a bunch of cancellations in the meantime until we reach our level and have some backup food uh, and plant stocks, but. 
think it's going to be simpler if we leave that alone. Um, okay, so now we have space for stockpile. Now. I already want this bigger, don't I? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll start placing stockpile. Um, but here we have, this is stone. So we're going to do like a bar block stockpile. Always a, an important one. Um, then like furniture is important. Mechanic, yeah, carpenter. Oh, we got... That's the other thing. So we did, we did bed. We need barrels. Yeah, out of wood, please. Not. Please do not try to make adamantine barrels. There. Uh, barrels and bins. Those are important for all sorts of things. Um, this will be five, and this will be five. Yeah. There. Daily empty barrels, ten. Should be fine. Do, do check daily empty bins, ten. Oops. Uh. Yeah, okay. That's a thing. Um, and then you, you're gonna get bins and stuff. What else do we, what else do we want? See how fast that's going? Oh my goodness. Um, there's all sorts of just random rocks in here already. The main thing that we always need, we're gonna need to chop down more trees already, aren't we? Um, here, resume, please. Now, let's see. Larch, I would, I would, larch, larch. That's all fine. Pine, bayberry, right next to our walls, of course. Pine, I would. Yeah, we'll do that. So, our stockpiles down here, we definitely need room for our wood. And this will all probably be adjusted as we go, but we're, we're getting started. And then, I'm also going to make this for furniture. Furniture is always the biggest stockpile because so many things count as furniture and they're all the things that you need to have a bunch of. Um, okay. So now that we've made those, we can come back here and uh, we'll, we'll let you finish that. Uh, but we'll do that. And we'll get rid of that one. And yeah, no, we're just gonna we're gonna get rid of these. That's fine. Just yeah, whatever. We'll leave the food ones because we haven't replaced those yet. And then oh we can like look at this. We can just straight up get rid of this stockpile. Now all the wood will go downstairs instead. Perfect. Now I want a place for these levers. Maybe here. Why not? I'll just do lever, lever. Uh, do a lever there. <laughs> Why not? Um. Yeah. See, like the. They're all still just wandering out. It must be. Is it must be. Terrified while in conflict. Yeah, there's a, there's a bird up there scaring all of our. 
Oh, there's a bunch of birds. A bird swooping on our livestock. Hmm. Be cool if someone hunted that. They're just, <laughs> they're just up there. What is, what is going on here? A dusting of snow. Interesting. It's already snowing. Late summer. Interesting. We don't see a dusting of snow uh, around here. That's weird. Um, cool. Needs logs. Yeah, we're making logs. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Then in theory, all those work order jobs just get transferred down here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Um, we do want a work order job for mechanisms. Those are important. Rock mechanism. Um, same thing. We'll do five. We'll do like six. Since we use them in pairs usually. Um, yeah. Actually, let's do like four. Now, we are probably going to get a human caravan pretty soon here, actually. Which means, well, the easiest, the easiest answer for the immediate term is to just do like this. They don't care. Now, I also want to make something to trade with. Right? So let's do rock. Actually, this one's gonna be tied to a specific workshop. So I wanna make a repeating rock craft job, but I don't want that to tie up every single craft workshop. So I'm gonna come into here. I'm gonna say this workshop cannot take general work orders, but it's going to take this work order, rock crafts, and then we can come into here. There's gonna be a repeating order, so long as we have the rock. And you will just make five crafts at a time. And as long as we have spare rock. So this, this isn't checking against how many crafts we have, this is just making crafts. And here we go. So cool. And now we can do um, a craft stockpile. All right, finished goods. Um, these will all start getting populated at some point, <laughs> maybe. Um, we could even come in here and we can say this is no longer finished goods. This is no longer bars and blocks. This is no longer furniture. Yeah. Well, and all that stuff should get moved downstairs. And then this we should link to here. It was going to be uh, Woodgate South. And this one's going to be wood gate north. Plant. Done. Where did that get suspended? Um, I'm going to turn back on our suspend manager. Because that was cool. We'll hopefully help them figure that out. Who's fighting? Peregrine Falcon is fighting. The birds are attacking each other. Weird. 
That's okay, though. Um, how's our, <laughs> our poor goats? We're going to need to get them inside pretty quickly here. We're just going to be harassed by endless flying beasts, which we're going to be. Spoiler alert. Um... We're gonna have to find a find a find a cave so that we can make an indoor pasture area. Um, okay, so that means we are we're digging. Um, I'm tempted to tell them to like go ahead and just dig all this as well. Cause I mean, we're we're gonna need storage space. That's <laughs> that's a given, um, and it's already autumn. Cool. Okay. So I don't want our main spiral staircase situation to be how we find a cave, right? Um, cause then, cause then things get weird. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to, we're just, let's, how do we want to do this? I want to explore downwards. I don't want to be too reckless with it. Um, so we're gonna. So let's, I'm just gonna plan out some more of this. More of this situation. Right. Like another loop. And maybe here. From here, I'm going to... And th this will actually be a stair just because it's an exploratory thing. Um, we'll do like here now. I don't want to be on the very edge of the map, do I? I do want to be not in the center either. I think we're going to do something like this. And just go down... Go down to 25. That's sure to find something, right? In all likelihood. Um, so that'll be... That's some digging for them to do. That'll, that'll keep them going. Um, I'll start digging there. Yeah, okay. So then... Bedrooms? Dining hall? Bedrooms or dining hall? Thinking bedrooms will be over here. Dining hall will be over here. Bedrooms should be close to the workshops. So yeah, I think they'll... I think we're gonna do something like this. Um, that's as far as it goes that way. And since, I mean, max population of 50, we only need, like, at most 50 rooms, right? In addition to whatever our, um, like, our long-stay hotel kind of a situation is. Um, but 50 would be overkill, so, like, I'm gonna make a stack. And, like, 10 on a level for 5 levels would be, would be plenty. Um, so long as we don't run into caves. So, I think what's going to happen, nope, not that, like this, of course we'll, we'll leave room there for, for our stockpile, and then we're just going to, right, what if it's like that, and then, or no, we want to, here we do. And 
And we would need another... Hmm. <laughs> what if it was just like this? What if I do... Maybe I should... Here. Hold on. Hold on! <laughs> Make this a little lower priority so I don't do it all at once on me. I'm still figuring things out. Just... Stop. Go away. Okay, we're gonna do Yeah, fine, whatever. Two, three, that's the end. And then we can do six on this side. Right? Is that what we're doing? And then we could do Hmm. We could we could do like this. And how? Yeah. Okay. So what if we do like do do do? So there's twelve. And then I just want to do like, oh, yeah, uh, Outpost Liaison has arrived. Although it is a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, the supply caravan from the dip ceiling is a welcome sight. Their eyes are alight with the anticipation of inspecting the splendid products of your industrious craft orders. We just started. Maybe you don't get your hopes up too much. Be careful stock of your own stores. What these merchants offer might very well be the difference between a prosperous future and a slow, meaningless death. Neat. Um, yeah, so the dwarves from our civilization have come to trade with us. Very cool. Um, anyway, I'm gonna finish this thought first. Um, what I want to do here Except, hmm, 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 hmm. I mean, I can just do a couple of stairs in here. I was hoping I wanted to do some ramp stuff. Hmm, 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 hmm. I mean, we really do only have so much space here. There's like Yeah, okay. So what if we do we have a ramp there and then we'll have a little way around. Probably right? A little Ramp down, walk, walk way around, and then something like this. And then we're gonna move all this over. Uh, we can do that, and then two, and then like this. So we'll just have a little ramp here, and this will go. This will do the same thing. But now there's gonna be a ramp here, or no, not even there. The ramp would be here, right? And then same kind of thing. We'll just go like this, and we're all just gonna be like one staggered from each other. Yeah. Okay. Like 
like that. Then same thing here. And then our passageway. And I guess we want we can do some here too, right? So so we will. Use our space. Okay, so that's already, I mean, 6, 12, so that's already 24. So that's already half the rooms that we will need. This holding fortress. We don't actually even need a... Do that for now. We technically don't need a passage down here. Um, that might end up becoming a passage anyway. Because, yeah, so then, yeah, okay, and then, I guess we're just going to do the same exact thing. And then, like this, at home. I think that'll be fine. Um... Right? And then is there there is one more. So then if I go down one more. And like I wouldn't even need to channel further from here. Because this will be the bottom. Three. Three. Duh. Yeah. Perfect. So four levels, 24 each. Or no, four levels, 12 each. I don't think we have. Hold on. Four levels of 12 each. And we'll end up with 48 rooms. And then between nobles and people doubling up because families share a room, that's going to be enough for our entire dang fortress. So, yeah. Cool. Um... We'll just we'll connect these like this, and then like this, and then we don't need we don't need these. This this can come back later. <laughs> um, yeah, and then from here, same same deal. We'll just do these. And then like that, and like that. This doesn't even need to be there. Like this just needs, because they need to go around to here, but no one's going around these, so that's, that's fine. So yeah. Now, all of our bedrooms come through here. All... Yeah, and then this is our, our central thing, so then even if someone is like all the way down at the bottom, their path to get back to the center is just going down the here, and then up, 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 and then they're at the center of the fortress. So even like our furthest flung bedrooms are still pretty dang close to the center of our, of our situation. Essentially. Um, so that's nice. Now let's check on our trading situation. They're gonna they're gonna come in. We don't have a broker yet, so we'll have to do that. Holy cow. Adequate negotiator, adequate negotiator. Novice liar. Skilled appraiser. Appraiser is important. You a good appraiser? No. Either good at negotiating or appraising. That's a good sign. Uh, let's let's do you. You don't need anything, luckily, so that's you're good. Um, okay, 
So I'm going to request our trader, and I'm going to um, yeah, look at all the amulets we have. We have three whole amulets. We're going to have zero trading value here, but that's fine. Um, we have a lot of gems. That might be, you know, wow, a hundred for a rough pink tourmaline. And a rough ruby for a thousand. Wow. We got lucky with that ruby, I think. Um, cloth, finished goods. I have to figure out a... Oops, oops, oops. Um, there we go. Jeez, that was weird. I think we might trade away our... Ruby, just because that's what we have. Uh, but we're gonna have to figure out our, our stockpile situation for getting our craft, our craft goods, all all containerized, I guess. Expedition leader, cool. There's much to share, cool. I don't know what we want from them. We want leather. Leathers, leather's a, leather's a good thing to trade for early game. Because it's it's hard to get going. Um, maybe some seeds. I don't know. It's hard to. <laughs> I don't. I haven't ran into our issues yet, so I don't know what we need. Um. Crafts? Nah. We don't need to import crafts. Seeds, here we go. Um, and they're only gonna give us our our dwarven crops because they're dwarves, but that's fine. Now, okay. We can trade our 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 one ruby. Um, I'm curious what they have. We don't even know what we don't even really need much at this point. We got a bunch of food and booze, probably. Copper picks, boots, shields, gloves, sand. I wonder if we have sand on this map. Um, cloth and leather. Mm. Leather is fortunately very cheap. Bunch of animal parts and some cheese books meditations on the center I guess if there's anything you're gonna meditate on the center is a good one yeah I don't know do we care to trade the real the trick is that they're less inclined to trade with you if you have not traded with them previously. So it's good to it's good to trade, even if you don't need stuff, but we really don't need stuff. Um However I mean what if I just do There. We have traded. <laughs> No trader needed. Um, it'd be cool if someone hunted down all those birds. Need logs. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to set up auto chop. So we were using that time, and it was pretty cool. Um, no, that's not... Here, settings. Target number of logs can be smaller. We can be like 50. Um, we need to make a burrow. We'll chop any accessible trees on the map. Well, yeah, okay. The burrow I make is going to be the whole map anyway, so that's fine. Um, high burrow with... No trees, hide burrows with no chop orders. 
Designate trees for chopping now. Undesignate all trees now, yes. Usable logs in stock, four. Approximate logs left in accessible trees, 300. I want them to not chop the fruit trees, though. How do I... Nope. Come on. How do I tell them which kinds of trees to chop? Is that not a thing I can do? Fine. I thought I could say not the fruit trees or something. Uh, Pine, highwood, pine, highwood, arch, pine, pine, pine. I mean, we can see saplings in here, right? These are going to keep growing, um, but since we're we're not going to chop the bayberry trees, we're and we're going to chop down all the other trees. We're going to end up with a whole bunch of bayberry trees eventually. Look all this, and look, yeah. So, oh, yeah, okay. So now that it's fall. Yeah, now that it's fall, all the bayberries have fallen out of the trees. So now they're just on the ground. So that's the that third option with the 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 zone where they're gathering fallen fruit off the ground. Look at that! It's all there. So now, if you didn't have step ladders or you didn't want them to go up into the trees for whatever reason, you just wait for autumn, and grab it all off the ground. There's quite a bit. Look at all these bayberries. So many bayberries. Okay, cool. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Now... Now, now, now... You're still, you're still doing that. Um, these have not been dug or not been used. That's interesting. Uh, it'd be, it'd be cool if you did. This is furniture. It's all being dug. This whole bottom one is gonna, this whole bottom thing's gonna be furniture, <laughs> probably. Um. Let's see, you're you're making crafts. Let's see, there's all that stuff. So now the question is, where do we make our permanent trade depot? Because they can come down here. So I think it's probably going to end up over here, or maybe down here, and we'll like widen. We'll widen this hallway. Because, yeah, we even have a spare... Spare width. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe... I mean, I usually like to have it more inside, so it can be more defensible. I don't know if that's... necessary. One thing I am gonna do... Um, let's make some cage traps. And just do like this. I'm gonna want the caravan to be able to come in here, but I don't care about anything past here. Um, cause that's, that's, that's the fortress down there, so... Hmm. This can take food, right? Food. Yes. What are you all doing? You're digging, brewing, gathering. Yeah. I wonder... I wonder if I can limit how much they gather. Well, it's snowing. It's so cool. Like, I kind of want to put a limit on how much food they grab, because they're going to grab everything but like we do want to kind of grab all these berries before winter hits
which is happening presently. That's kind of cool. Look at all the snow. Of course, our trees overhanging our um our wall, whatever. We're all just gonna hang out there. Okay. Um. So that's oh, it's almost done. Almost like the game's running much faster than it was in the previous fortress. Um, okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, okay. I know that you just brought two whole tables here. I'm going to get rid of that stockpile. I'm just gonna make... Like... Oh look, some migrants. Essentially this whole thing. Maybe furniture stockpile. And then where's our this? So this got this is going down. Interesting. Okay. Um do another ten. Um I am gonna make sure to put a door here because we have discovered that they are magical. You can block anything. Most things, not anything. Okay. So then we should make a dining hall. Like a tavern, taverny thing. Um not sh and, and we want that to go like here. What if it's just like just like this? Vaguely here. Um, we made it way oversized last time. It's gonna be like the largest we can make it in that corner, which is still probably quite big. Um, we could even do, let's do like something like that, and then maybe our food stuff will come back here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Our food workshops and food stockpile can be here. And then our dining hall will be here. And the only entrance into our food stuff will be through our dining hall. Right? That, that makes sense, yes. <laughs> um. what we're doing. Some, like, double door situation here. Except, no, you're not that high priority. Sorry. Sorry. I... Stop! <laughs> okay, yeah. Bedrooms first, please. Since we got a whole new migrant wave, what are we up to? Up to 12 whole people. Wow. Neat. Um, okay, cool. That's all got dug. So then let's make sure it's taken up. We'll do, we'll do like most of this. We'll do like this. There. Furniture. Now this is for crafts. Theory. Yeah, they can have bins. They're gonna get into the same situation as last time where they don't put a bin in the thing. This. Okay. They already need to clean up. How is that? How have you already made a mess of this? Need an empty cage. Oh, yeah. I need to make cages, don't I? 
wooden cage. Let's do two at a no two at a time. This will check daily. Empty cages. Pen. And logs. Bop. There. Make some cages. Might even make a second carpenter. I don't know if that's necessary. It might be. Carpenter, carpenter. Okay. I'm curious if we have any bees. I saw a termite colony. I would love to have a bee. I'm guessing we're probably a little, a little too cold here for bees. But it's hard to hard to say. I've been surprised before. I'm also I like the dragonflies. Okay. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Um, this should stop. Uh, no, not that. Uh, is this still? This is finished. Not finished goods. What's all in here? Cloth. That's right. Cloth and leather. We'll have to get that going. It's gonna be over here probably. Probably end up being like this whole bottom row, maybe. Gonna end up being workshops. Three, one, two, three. Three, one, two, three. And then that's the literal edge. Perfect. Holy cow. Okay, I guess we're doing that. <laughs> that's that's literally as far as you can go on both sides. Wow. That's cool. That worked out. That wasn't on purpose. Um, and then if we need more room, we can find another spot for, for more stuff. Um, but here, here we're going on bedrooms. Cool. Slowly. Maybe they need... I've, I've just called everything... Four? Yeah. Um, do like this. Make sure they actually finish some. <laughs> Not just dig everything halfway first. Um, and these can be two. And then this will be three. everywhere. Lots of doors. I want lots of doors. Because doors limit line of sight, and limiting line of sight helps with FPS. That is what I've learned. Like we even do like here. Uh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Let's do... Yeah. Okay, they're, they're digging. <laughs> there is some stuff to dig. Uh, are you, has this been doing... Wow. Hmm. Either we have a long way to go before the first cave, or we just missed it, which is... Very possible. Tempted to dig some side panels, passages, panels. Um, 
um, like at 20, we don't need to go down that far for our fortress, right? That leaves us a good, like even here. From 35 to 20. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's plenty. We can we can explore around down here. See what we can find. Um, let's go down to let's go to zero. I assume zero is like sea level, which doesn't always mean anything uh, when we're out in the mountains like this. We'll do every five. Let's do every five. We'll do two ten. Let's dig some. We'll go to five. We'll dig some. Go to zero. We'll dig some. And if we don't find a cave after that, I don't know what's going on. All these step ladders just kind of hanging out out there. That's fine. <laughs> these birds harassing our <laughs> our poor hand animals. Hmm. Merchants have left. We've struck everything. We're not making food because we don't have things. We aren't actually farming, so that makes sense. Masterpiece Pine Bin. Excellent. Hooray. Um. What? Yeah, okay, so now, so that's, this stuff is happening, this stuff is happening. Yeah, see so it just, like, boop, boop, boop. Then, what are you doing? You're making, there's still all sorts of stuff in these workshops. Oh, wow, that was fast, jeez. Someone please clear out all the things. We have so much rock salt. This whole fortress is very salty already. It's like the opposite of what I want. Um, die. Oh yeah. They obeyed my orders. Okay. Door. 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 And then we can start placing beds. My goodness. Um, so we'll do... We'll do something like this. We haven't started making chests or cabinets yet. Which we probably should. Uh, that goes there. And then door. Yeah, let's just go ahead and make two more stone workers, cause it's always a thing. And we're also gonna make a. Two clothers and a loom. And a leather worker. I think. Um, we do need to bring our uh, our cloth and stuff down here. So there's gonna be a cloth. I'll be cloth, and then this will be leather. Leather. There. Cool. Did you just drop that door <laughs> on the ground? Hey, we found a cave. Perfect. Where did we find it? This is elevation four. 
How high up? Not very. Okay. Cool. Is this cave one? It's possible that we missed the first one. But this looks cave one-y. They kind of have a different aesthetic to them. They look a lake. I wonder what critters are going to be hiding for us in here. And of course, with a with a small embark size, then there's just a whole level of water. <laughs> this, the whole map is this little lake. That's kind of cool. That's a lot of water. Um, dense cave moss. Like this is perfect. That should be our pen. Glad it is? My goodness. Yeah, we should make our pen here. Um Okay, no, you can you can stop that, that's fine. I know what's there. Which is the one oh we should make sure to do that. Um Okay. So it was the stairwell that uncovered it. So we're just we're gonna floor this off again. That's the That's the easy thing to do. Um choose items manually. Lock this location. What do you mean? Uh no, construct floor. You went up, right? They didn't just fall in. Why are there bones here? Troglodyte skeleton. It's foreboding. Cave silk web. Oh! So there's webs in here. That means that we're gonna get webs in... What the heck is that? Oh, it's a dead cave spider. Oh, what, creepy. It's still creepy, I guess. <laughs> but we have... We have giant cave spiders. That means we can get silk going. Which means I'm not gonna bother growing cloth crops. Between wool and silk, I think we'll be fine. Now, can we build a floor here? No. Why not? Why not? Can I clear? No, it's just, okay. Locked at this location. Well, okay, fine. We'll do one level up then. Uh, we'll make it out of all of our blocks. Continue. Okay. Um, yeah, more exploratory tunnels are fine. Clearly, there's nothing there. I don't want to make sure there's nothing else hiding in the middle here because I, I would hate to plan on having that much vertical space and then finding another cave that would that would stink um so maybe we'll check my five as well um but like 30 and above i think we're gonna leave alone because there's definitely not Something hiding in these five levels. Yeah. At least I'd... These are usually tall enough that that's... That would be highly unlikely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, pond grabbers. Goody. Oh, and all this snow? It's so cool. I'm a sucker for snow. Snowy landscapes. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, we've uncovered a thing. Uh, okay, so now we have uncovered a cave, which means that our indoor ground areas will start to grow moss and stuff, which means we should find, yeah, like this is, this is all silt, but this is all rock. Maybe what we do is find a different way down? Mm -hmm. 
Empty food storage item. Needs logs. Okay. We are needing to chop down this whole forest. Got it. Uh, let's see. Larch. Plywood. Pine. Plywood. Larch. Pine. Larch. Larch. Plywood. Larch. Sure. Just chop them all down. Just leave the leave the berry trees. I just said we're gonna we're gonna pasture in the cave. I think that is what makes sense to me. Um, how far down was it? It was quite far down, wasn't it? Does it make sense? It's really far down. gonna be a bit before I feel like I can make this safe. Which means we're doing a temporary pen. An intermediate pen? Because this is our temporary pen. Um, let's do like... Let's do this. I'm just gonna do a stairwell here. And then we'll dig out. And we'll dig because I have a feeling that, like, even this second level here is going to be all rock. We're probably only going to have one actual, like, silt layer. We're going to have to be careful not to poke holes in our ceiling with all these trees, especially as we chop them down. Um, but we'll, we'll keep this completely segregated from the rest of our fortress for now. Right now, we just need to dig it out so that it has time to grow. Uh, grow all of its mossiness um but okay so that's that's fine and then we'll just do that and obviously this will have a stairwell inside our little temporary wall here but that's fine if anyone wants to fall into our pen and come out here they still have to get into the holding fortress so that's fine Ooh, cloud berries All of our goats. Can you like behave <laughs> or something? Um, okay. I'm gonna set some hotkeys here. Um, this one's gonna go here. I'm gonna be first level. Here. Tree level. Um, and then we'll say this is crafting floor. And then these are bedrooms. And this will be dining hall. And then there will be other other things. And then cave one. In theory. I'm gonna put my hotkey like right here. Uh let's one through four. Let's do shift one. It'll be cave one. Perfect. I see an om. I see you. What else is down here? And Ulm. Okay. <laughs> so. We have F1. We have F2. I guess I want it over here, technically. Oop. One, two, three. Cool. Uh, you all got beds. Very cool. Now. We can go ahead and turn these into bedrooms. Or I'll do multi. Oop. And there we go. Easy as pie. 12 bedrooms. And those won't be assigned to anyone. I'll just come in first come first serve. I'm a bedroom. Um, here come our furniture. Um, did we... We have auto loom on or something. 
I probably didn't want that to happen. Uh, what are we... Oh, I see. I've never clicked on this. Huh. You can... You, <laughs> there's tabs I haven't even clicked on. Wow, this is just every task? That's cool. I'll have to remember that. Um, the thing I'm looking for is standing orders. Uh, we do not want to automatically weave all thread. Use any cloth is fine. Automatically collect webs. Not right now. We'll do that manually. Slaughter any work animal. Automatically bridge your carcasses. Automatically clean fish. Automate kitchen. Automate tannery. That's all fine. Um, yeah, because we, we, you want to have some thread. Not all thread should be turned into cloth. Um, specifically for things like surgery. You don't want your doctor to be like, oh, look, we're out of thread. I'm just going to have to bleed there. So well, that's, that's a thing. Um, have any of these been claimed? Not really. Um, the other thing we can do is come up here and turn this into a dormitory. Um, and it's overlapping, but that's that's fine. Actually, I don't know. That's yeah, whatever. Um, once we have our dining hall digged out, dug out, then we will be able to turn that into a meeting hall, and then we can get rid of this going on here. Um, but. I mean, we're, we're making progress. We have we have the start of a fortress here. Yeah, okay, so we're digging. Uh, we'll place some more beds. Bed, bed, bed. Bed, 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 bed. And doors. Door, door, door. Nope, that was wrong. Crap. This, like we're gonna we're just gonna wait on all this this stop that's fine ignore it <laughs> we don't have that many people yet okay we got some bedrooms it's already already been doing this for three whole hours my goodness So that's a whole 24 bedrooms already dug. Now we're saving again. So yeah, that's um that's a whole year complete. That's half of the bedrooms that we will need for this entire fortress already dug. Working on our working on our darn dining room. We've already found cave one. Or what we are presuming to be to cave one. We have our basic industry going. That's a that's a successful stream, right? <laughs> now I do want. Uh, okay, yeah, cool. So now it's already turning into cave moss. Um, I do want the surface to be a thing. Yeah, this is whatever. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this into a pasture already. It's, you can see how quickly it's growing. I'll be much safer in here. And then, yeah, uh, just all the things that are already designated. Okay, cool. And then we come here and we remove that one. Yes. 
Perfect. Oh, and I bet our... I don't know what that was. Our, um... Food collection zone doesn't go all the way out to the side where all the bayberries are. Okay, so we're just gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna make this a whole dang map. If there's a berry on the ground, you pick it up. Just a rule for everyone. Do not need to be starving to death in year one. Thank you very much. Um, but we got all our trees. We're not going to be... Tr we don't have elves in as a neighbor, so they don't care. We can just chop down all the trees we want. My goodness. Sparse mountain havens? Isn't Avon? Huh. I don't know what that is. Um okay. So yeah, cool. Now they're now they're in here. Um once we find a more permanent spot for them. If this is already weird. We're gonna need to keep an eye on this for, for any holes popping up. Um, that's fine. Once we have... Once we're more established, we're gonna... I think we're gonna put that pasture in the... in the cave. I liked, I liked how that worked last time. Um, and farm, for that matter. I mean, do we have enough... Room for a pasture and a farm. I mean, this could be a farm. Our farm does not need to be that big. Like this would be. This was overkill for our last fortress. But for for fifty people, we really don't need a big farm. Especially considering how much we're just going to grab from the surface. Okay, that's cool. I think. I think we're just going to be building a nice big wall around this whole section here. And then it has to go up several levels, but that's fine. It's kind of funny that... It's funny that the wall up here kind of matches that. Huh. That's interesting. Um... That's like the only flat ground that we have in this cave. It's literally these two little platforms and then water is the entirety of this cave. Which is almost nice. There's not much space for things to wander around down here. It's just you can fly or be in the water or you can you can buzz off. Well, oh, oh, what? What was that? A cave swallow. Okay. Cool. And we're gonna have giant cave spiders. We can probably catch them and farm them. That was a thing that I meant to do last time, but never, never happened, obviously. Uh, but if we could catch a couple of cave, giant cave spiders and make a silk farm, we'll be golden. That'd be very cool. Colony of bumblebees! Ugh. Ah. Um Okay, so that means we should like make some eyes. Um rock eye. Um We'll just make ten. And then we're also gonna want jugs. And then this will be a recurring thing, but we'll just do five of those at a time. Checking daily, empty jugs, ten. and that should be fine. What else is here? Why are you... Oh, is this also a rock sock pile? Is that what I did? Stone? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so in retrospect, it should have been everything but rocks. 
Oh well, at least they're getting placed somewhere out of the way. Um, like weapons and stuff? We'll have to find a, a thing to do, or finished goods we'll have to get fancy with. We have a bunch of blocks. I still getting moved. Um, furniture stockpile's already looking gnarly. Of course, our stupid finished goods stockpile. It's gonna get all gridlocked again. Because of course it is. Wood stockpile, cloth, leather. Yeah, cool. Now there's our uh, dining hall. Let's just go ahead and make meeting area. Except there's going to be a new tavern, the Saffron of Brass. Excellent. Um, and we're going to say all visitors are welcome. Why not? Um, why the heck not? We'll go ahead and... Proficient liar, competent persuader. We'll go ahead and, you know, establish a tavern keeper, because why not? And then, once all that gets dug, then that's where our food production is going to go. Oop. And look, look, they're in their bedrooms. Oh my goodness. All of this can become bedroom even. Yeah, 12 created, done, perfect. Everyone gets a bedroom. Um, so then we can come back up here and remove this one. Yes. And now we just need some tables and chairs. I want to leave, like, you know, a good block of this for, for a dance area, and then we'll just have our tables and chairs up here. And one thing I've seen people do that I've not done in the past, um, like, it makes sense to put, like, two rows of tables next to each other and put chairs on the outside. But if you actually do that the other way around so that all of the chairs are next to each other, people can socialize while in adjacent chairs. Um, so let's do that. Well, we'll just get something started here. This doesn't... We really don't need much at the moment. Uh, but chairs... Do, 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 do. Do something like that. Apparently, and we'll, we'll we'll keep an eye on it and see what happens. But apparently, people sitting in these adjacent chairs while they're eating can like socialize while they're eating, which is cool. Um, but then we go here. We can see that our dance area, dance floor and common area five by sixteen. Why is that? Because it went like this. Okay, whatever. Um, sure. <laughs> Let's just do this then. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. Especially with the the planner, you can see some of these aren't even made yet. But as as we go, it'll it'll get done. So now it's 1 by 16. Why is that? Why is that how that works? Confused. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that, I guess. It should be able to figure out how to, how to do this square as the as the thing. Okay, cool. Workshops. Farming. I do two stills. I do two kitchens. Uh, we should do a fishery. That's a thing, since there's fish on the surface. 
forgot about that one. Um, we can do a fisher, and then we can do uh, da, 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 a butcher. Those are kind of similar. And then, what else? Farmer's Workshop is good for things. Different from Kitchen. Farmer's Workshop is for things like, yeah, like shearing animals, making cheese. Jobs that involve food, but don't necessarily make food to eat. Um, so maybe it goes... Maybe it goes somewhere else. Maybe it goes like up here. And we'll just do like a good space here. Do oh, something like that. Does not need to be that big, I'm sure. But whatever. Um, and then the actual food stockpile. We don't want to... Mm, did I get too close here? I wonder if I did. I may have. And we'll find out. Um, so I don't want to build here. I can do... I think I can do this, and that can be our food stockpile. Let's do, 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 we'll do this. We'll see how this works out. There's, there's a lot of stuff I'm doing new here, so we'll see. <laughs> Oh, hi. Oh, look at all those voicemails. Cool. Anything important? No. Not really. Anyway. Um, I think... I think this is a good stopping point. We kind of got the bare necessities going here. Um, oh, I want some... Uh, let's do some rock nest boxes. We'll just do... we'll do ten of those. That's fine. Got some tiger eyes. Um, we'll figure out our the rest of our nobles next time. Those are basically, I mean, for where we are right now, they're kind of good to go. Yeah, cool. So then this is our food stockpile. Food. Hi. Would you like to not be here, please? Um, okay, and then we can come into here and say that this is no longer food. And no longer cloth. And no longer leather. And no longer stones. And that's... Yeah, okay. And that's fine. Um, and we can even, like, we're gonna have so many bedrooms very quickly that I don't need a dormitory. That's fine. And then these can be undone. And then you can take all your seeds. Oh, a seed stockpile. That's, um... That's a good point. Let's do... Where does that go? I guess it can go in here for now. I want to keep them separate, though. Maybe they go in our in here for now. This is the place where things go. Let's do food, but 
Nothing except for seeds. And then you. You do. Do not take seeds. They'll be kept separate. Cool. And then, I mean, we can dig like the rest of these. This is fine. And we can put doors in here. Like this. These connect nowhere <laughs> except for the workshops. That's fine. Whip vines. Okay. Cool. Everything is fine. No water source. Oh yeah, we're going to find a spot for a well. But we have a whole lake in a cave. Okay, so that's going to be fine. Winter has come. Okay. I think we're going to wrap up here. There's people socializing already. Are you a visitor? Human bowman. Visitor has come asking questions and to relax. Seeking information about the location of lovely searches. The moist speechlessness. The moist speechlessness. Oh dear. Anyway. Yeah, cool. So now the only way the the closest table to the food is that one. There will be no others closer. Ugh. No eating in the library. Okay. I think I think we're good. I think we're gonna save. Then we're gonna call it here. We have made quite a lot of progress on, on our first stream here. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm, I'm less looking forward to looking back at the VOD and, this, and figuring out how rough all the audio stuff is and all the other junk. Hopefully it wasn't unbearable. Um, I'm actively working on it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's gonna, it's gonna get better. Um, here, I can even do this. Yeah, hi. Um, usual kind of stuff. Uh, come by on Saturday, and I'll be continuing on my Sekiro blind playthrough. And that's been great fun. Uh, here's a big old monkey that we got to deal with. And then on Monday, we will be coming back to this fortress and continuing. Um, this, is, this is a good start. I, we have some some things can happen here. Uh, we have the wilderness. Um, there's going to be some some big creatures are going to come find us, pretty sure, pretty quickly, I think. So it's good that we've gotten inside, got all our critters underground, so a giant falcon doesn't run off with them. Um, and we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into here. Um, yeah, so Monday next week, Thursday next week, more of this fort. Uh, more Sekiro on Saturday. Check YouTube for VODs if you want, or hang out here. Uh, I'll, I'll be here. This, this, this is what I do now, apparently. So um, come by if you want to hang out, and, and we'll be here. Well, be kind. <laughs>